Good morning, greetings to you, Pastor Ken, Harvest Church. Always a little Wednesday night thing going on at Harvest and as well as online seven o'clock on Wednesdays. You're welcome to join us. We're talking out of 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse number 10. That's the chapter that talks about in the last days, difficult and strenuous times are going to come. But if you look down at verse number 10, as I did a few weeks ago, Paul draws something in contrast when he writes that. He says, evil days, yes, but Timothy, you're not that way. You're different. Something's better, different about you. And he listed four reasons, several reasons why. One was that you know my teaching. We know the Bible. We're learning the scriptures. Amen. You're reading your Bible every day, right? Right. But he also says, you know my life. You know how I live. You've seen my, if you will, my life before God. I want to encourage you to find some people, a local church somewhere, or some fo true followers of Jesus who are living what they're saying are doing the Christian walk well and doing it right. A lot of great churches around here. If, if you don't want to come to Harvest, then let me know and I'll find one for you close to you. Because it's so important to see others and be with others. Timothy was connected to Paul. That relationship was very powerful and significant in his life. Who is the Paul in your life, if you will? Someone said years ago, I believe it was the Promise Keepers movement, said everybody needs a Paul, a Barnabas, and a Timothy in their life. Somebody over them, like a Paul watching out for them, a Barnabas, a friend traveling with them, and a Timothy, someone they're pouring into and helping along the way. Do you have those persons in your life? Harvest is here for you. I'm here for you. There are people in this community. Father, I pray for everyone today. May I pray for you that you'll find the good, godly relationships that you need in your life. You'll find the right church so you can grow and not waver. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.